You know when you wake up and you have a beautiful plan for a day and then something goes wrong and the trajectory of your entire day and your perfectly scheduled plan just says goodbye? That is today. That is what is happening today, my friends. Change of plan for this morning. Your girl's gotta go shopping again. But first, we need to eat. <laughs> Not to be dramatic, but this is gonna be a little bit dramatic and it's a little bit of a disaster just for me and Dan's scheduling. So if you recall in the last vlog, we designated a little time in the day to do our shopping. We have an upcoming trip that has uh, multiple specific events with specific dress codes and we're super excited for it. And we didn't end up finding anything downtown, but I was like, that's okay. I had placed an order on May 5th, May 5th, okay? The day that I received the dress code information. And I had placed an order and I'm like, whatever, if we don't find anything, we're gonna have this backup. And the outfit was really cute, but it was just a little bit spendy, you know? So I was like, hopefully I can find something that's not as expensive. I ordered it on net porte and I've ordered from net porte for years and I've never had this happen. But my package, has not been delivered. It was supposed to be delivered on Monday, might I add. It's literally been like this entire week of it not being delivered. And for whatever reason, it got held up at customs and it was being held at customs and they needed me to like verify my address and the amount that was on the invoice. And I'm like, okay, click yes verifying that that is my address. Thank you. Why do I need to do this? Why is it being held for this? And now it's not being processed for another two to three business days and the earliest that it could be delivered is Monday. We leave Sunday at 4 30 a.m. and now the package is not being delivered and Dan and I Oh my God, we were on the phone with DHL and with Netta Porte this morning and just in a panic because, you know, we didn't find anything. We don't have anything. We're literally leaving in less than 48 hours and neither of us have pink outfits or outfits for the other dress code event and we just had a little bit of a heart attack and the thing is listen overnight shipping going into a weekend in canada does not exist might i add not gonna happen not an option sorry there's a car parking right beside me and i'm like L O L O L. why do i always have to be talking to myself when someone's pulling up <gasps> Oh, and he's looking into my eyes, good. And we also, you know, we like, it's everyday May. We just have a little bit of a crammed filming and editing schedule before we leave. We have to pack, blah, blah, blah. And we don't live anywhere close <laughs> to a mall. So like, it is a sunny Friday leading up to a weekend. Traffic is horrific. And I just drove an hour to get to the mall at Metro Town because traffic was so bad and it's gonna be another hour back. It has ruined our filming plans thus far for the day and we're just feeling a little bit stressed and I'm here and I, my mission, while well, poor sweet Dan is still editing at home, is to find outfits for us. <laughs> Something that's pink. So here we are again. We're gonna go get naked in some change rooms and fingers crossed, please, please, please let me find something in here. Please. I'm in Okay, so far, nothing pink for Dan, but I found some pink swim shorts for a beach day. Does that count? Hi there, what can I get for you? Hi there. Can I please get a junior chicken with an extra patty? Okay. Hey there, wait for June chicken, six nuggets, and double cheese. Yes, right, thank you, you so much. Have a beautiful Thanks. day. Thank you. This right here, this is heaven. Remove the unsauced bun because we don't want no buns with no mayo, okay? Double patty, junior chicken. Meryl, did you have a nice day with Zaddy? So I got many things for Dan. I still don't really have any options and I think I'm just gonna have to accept that. I did find one <laughs> dress at Forever 21, but it's so like, it's just not the vibe I wanted to go for, but it was like the one pink thing. This is the one thing I tried on, um, but everything else was kind of just, ay ay ay. let me tell ya, ay ay ay. The dance shopping was a success. I've got some beachy, linen-y, resorty, also some pink fits for him. So I'm, I'm sad. Like these were white pants from H&M and I'm like, if he don't like those, I might have to uh, give these a little go because those are perfect. Little menswear pantaloon. I am not opposed to such a thing. <clears throat> I have had my coffee. <laughs> I've done my skincare. 
and now we're gonna get ready for the day. So here's some more daily makeup. <laughs> I'm gonna start with the Key Soul Care. Let me glow. I've uh, kind of really just been switching up products here and there, like every day thus far and every day May. That's the beauty of doing every day May is it actually forces me to like do my makeup and get ready every day and try new products. And there's been so many products that I've been just loving this month. Oh my goodness. Uh, I actually, oh, I bought the lighter shade in the Chanel. I bought medium light. This actually stemmed from the fact that uh, so many of you on Instagram were sending me the Hilary Duff Women's Health cover shoot. And um, I actually follow the makeup artist who did her makeup in that shoot. And she very kindly listed all of the products that she used on her Instagram, which I love it when makeup artists do that. It's so rare. So many people like to hoard their secrets and their product secrets. And I'm sure they have their reasons, but I really appreciated that she listed everything. And she listed that she used the Water Fresh Tint. And it reminded me that I needed to pick up a lighter shade. So I actually went and picked up the shade lighter. These are the two tinted moisturizers that I've been just testing since I filmed that drugstore video. This is the L'Oreal Skin Paradise and the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. Um, I have this one in the shade Light Medium. Someone commented that on my video and I need to go and fill that in, but uh, I've also been yeah using this L'Oreal one and it's really pretty. I have this one in the shade Light 01. I had bought the deeper one too, but my tan is all washed off, so that is no more. And I've actually been enjoying applying this with a beauty sponge. And I know it's a lot of products on the base, but it just has such a nice effect. And this is like the lightest shade and it's even so yellow for me. Like I have to take this one fully down my neck as well. And that's not so common for me for tinted moisturizers and whatnot, but it does put such a nice, healthy, warm glow on the skin. And then following that up with the NYX concealer. It's honestly such a, such a stunning combo. Sorry, I really struggled to speak and do my brows at the same time. Okay, two new products I'm gonna use on the face right now. New highlighter from Lisa Eldridge. This is the Elevated Glow in the shade Cosmic Rose, right? Yes, Cosmic Rose, a new little highlight shade from Lisa Eldridge. Lisa Eldridge is a dream and these highlights are a dream. So just wanted to do do do. I could probably do this after powder actually now that I'm thinking about it. So maybe we'll go in with another layer after, but. I'm just gonna blend that in. It is truly such a juicy, juicy highlight and glow. It's so pretty. Look at that, it's literally like wet skin. So, so pretty. <gasps> oh, thank you so much, Lisa Eldridge, for sending this over. I love you. And another new in product, this is the New Sticks collaboration with Olivia Ponton, and this is the Sweet Cheeks. Oh my God, I hope I'm saying her last name right. I'm so sorry. This is the Sweet Cheeks blush. Very, very cute, really nice, like warm kind of neutral pink, very pretty. I wanna give this a go today. I was actually there, oh my God, when we were doing our Picante photo shoot in Malibu in LA, which I brought you guys along to, Olivia Ponton was there, like she came the night of our shoot. I met her, said hello, I was like, wow, you are so shockingly gorgeous. It's insane. <laughs> she was actually there when we were like cheersing our tequila. Did that, did we put that in the vlog? I don't remember. But either way, she was there at the house. And then the next day they shot her photo shoot for the Sweet Cheeks collab, which was very fun. Fun little story, fun little story for you, a little background. That's a very pretty, pretty pink. I don't mention this enough, but this is the Refer 04 brush, the blush brush. And I have been using this, just kind of switching up the way I apply blush, if you will, but I am just going right onto the product lately and then blending this in and it's just the perfect shape. It's such a foolproof way to apply the blush. I feel like I can never go heavy handed with it and I've just been loving this little method. So here is the Sweet Cheeks blush applied. I might put that on my lips too actually. I'm gonna take my NYX natural lip pencil and do my lip liner and I'll just apply some of that Sweet Cheeks on the lips too. <gasps> Very cute. It's actually really similar in shade. Ooh, to the NYX lip pencil. Okay, now that all of our cream products are applied, let's go in with this stunning Givenchy powder that I can't get enough of. Someone kindly corrected me that the Huda Beauty powder I was looking for was not in fact cupcake and it was cherry blossom. And to you, I say thank you because you are correct. The cherry blossom shade is the one that I've seen. Just gonna put on some Benefit Professional Setting Spray. I'm just gonna take my Hindash palette. This is the Monochromance palette, and I'm just still gonna take a little bit of that. Alter Ego shade, just run that all over. 
All right, and then to finish off the makeup, the Maybelline Curl Bounce Mascara, which has been such a dream to use. That's the makeup done, fam. I'm gonna go film and I'll check in with you later. Hello. A few hours later, some filming. Mama's here. I brought Meryl to her last night and I forgot to bring the litter box. Yeah. So sorry. Get it now. But did you have lunch? Yes. And we have coffee. And now Dan and I need to do our COVID test because we are leaving in the morning and we need to do a little test. It's via FaceTime. Dan set it all up. Set it. -ed. Set it all up. And we're gonna, oh, it's already like cued in the video. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So you can go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna let it sit in there for about two minutes. Excellent. We are clear and ready to go on our trip tomorrow, which I am so deeply excited about. And uh, yeah, mama just left. Dan went to the barber. And now for my next task of the day before we actually begin packing is uh, that I need to, well, pack up some other things. I need to pack up some Depop packages that have sold, ship them off. So I am coming to my little, <laughs> this is my packing den. Dan made these cute little cards. It says, thanks for shopping my closet. How cute. And I put them with every little order. Well, that was one of the more bizarre experiences I've had with another human being. <laughs> I parked at the post office and there was a, a van parked beside me in the parking lot and I went to turn my camera on because I was gonna film a cute little, you know, like taking the boxes out and going into the post office. And I saw the guy like get out of his van and stand behind the car. And I was just like, oh God, what? Did I park in like the wrong spot? <laughs> and I step out and I was like, hello, can I help you? And then he proceeds to go on a, a tirade of Tesla slander and how I should not be driving a Tesla. I was like, listen, sir, I did not expect to uh, park at the post office and receive Tesla slander on this fine day, but you have a great weekend. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my boxes inside. Thank you. Um, and I was a little frazzled by that encounter. So apologies, I did not record the rest of my post office adventure, but I successfully dropped off the packages and I just got a package in the mail from Hall Renfrew was waiting for me at the post office and I have no idea what this is. Oh, spring has arrived at Holtz. We're so excited for you to try some of the season's most exciting products. Thank you so much, Team Holtz. What the this? Ooh, a little scalp treatment. How exciting. We've got, what is this? Revitalizing Night Face Balm and Marble Massage Stone from La Prairie. Oh, how cute is that? Some little Alice and Lou earrings. Oh my God, this is a hair elastic. I didn't know what this was. I thought it was like a little letter, but it's a beautiful scarf. Cafune, oh. cafune. Oh my God, it is a handmade silk scarf. How gorgeous is that? <gasps> wow. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much. And this is some bizu. Bizu beaded jewelry. What a lovely little package. That's so cute. Oh, run through. Thank you so much. Oh, look at this bomb. It opens up. Wait. And there is a marble face massager inside and an 18 karat gold plated spatula. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What a, what a treasure. La Prairie and Holt Renfrew. Thank you very much. That is Wild. Wow. So beautiful. I might have to pack this for my trip. It's so pretty. I have a blue bathing suit that I was considering wearing. Maybe I can do a little scarf moment. How cute. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay. It feels so weird coming home and not having Meryl meowing at me. I'm going to tidy this up and then got to hop to it. We are behind on the packing. I just put on the little bizu beads. I'm like, is this bok choy? 
Or is that lettuce? I actually don't know what vegetable that is, but it's actually really cute. And then there's a little mushroom bracelet. Very fun, very beachy, perfect for where we're headed to. Speaking of, I don't wanna ruin all the outfits before we get there because we're gonna be vlogging a ton on this trip that we're headed on tomorrow, but I've been laying out my outfits here, getting them all ready. I pulled out all the pink things that I had just in case. <laughs> I usually do definitely like to feel a little bit more prepared with my outfits, but uh, I did my best with what I had. So I'm gonna pack this up and then, oh my God, I was just grabbing some makeup from the studio in the basement to pack up and we actually received the product that's being launched on the trip that we're going to ahead of time so that we could like see it and play with it. You guys are gonna poo. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna poo your pants because I pooed my pants when it came in. I'm actually so excited to show you guys this because it's something that as a fan of the brand, we've all been waiting for for such a long time. And I cannot wait to show you guys. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, but I can't show you now. I can't show you until we're there, unfortunately. Otherwise I'd spill the beans early, but yeah, I just grabbed some makeup to pack. And I also grabbed some individual lashes just in case I wanted to do a little bit of something, something. So first I'm gonna pack all my clothes into one half and then all my like makeup, skincare, hair tools, all that stuff usually takes up the second half of my suitcase. And that's generally how I plan out my packing. I use the Away aluminum suitcase. We've had them for a few years now and we love them so much. And when I say we, Dan and I both have them. We have little matching sets. I'm gonna pack up the clothes on the one side and then we'll head to the bathroom and I'll show you a few things that I'm bringing because I need to pack up my skincare and makeup and we'll, we'll do that together. I can't show you all the makeup, obviously. Don't wanna spoil it, but I do need to wash my brushes. So I'm just gonna put that up there to remind myself. I'm gonna put you here and we'll pack up the skincare. So I actually keep in my little cupboard here, a box of all of my travel size things. Keep like travel size body oil, my sunscreen, travel size hair products, like just anything travel related I keep in here. And then I also keep all of my cosmetic bags and whatnot. Let me just grab them all out. <laughs> Some of these are still partially packed from my previous trip, but these are my Alime Studios cosmetics bags, which I love so much. The little one I bring on the plane with me. So anything I want on the plane, we actually have a really long travel day tomorrow. We leave, I think we leave at 5.30, 6.30, is it two hours behind? So I think we leave at 6.30 a.m. Hawaii time and we don't land until like 5 p.m. So it's a very, very long travel day between our flights and layovers. Unfortunately, there was not a direct flight from Vancouver, which is so sad because direct flights do exist. So anyway, uh, in my little travel bag, what do I have here? I have my little travel sized Skin Fix Barrier Cream. I've got my travel size Caudalie face washes, travel size dry bar, dry shampoo, travel size toothpaste, all the goods in here. I put a bunch of hair products. I also keep some like medicine. I put React in and I put some Dayquil just in case. Travel replica by the fireplace, woo, fragrance. I've got my little um, cutie oil, cuticle oil. A little mini Caudalie hand cream. Okay, so I'm basically just gonna reorganize this. I will be washing my hair. I believe. So allow me to pack my Kerastase shampoo and little conditioner, but I also have my K18. I bought the little travel size. Yes, love that. Love that they have the travel size. So I'll put that in there. Put these back in here. How much is in here? Ooh, I'm gonna need to add more. I don't know how to do that though. I'm just gonna like bump it upside down. Does that work? <gasps> it does. <laughs> What a horribly disgusting visual I've just given you all. Allow me to just Q-tip that out. Okay, great. Skin Fix Cream, ready to go. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put my toothpaste in the bag that I bring on the plane. Maybe I'll bring my face cream with me too because just in case anything happens, I want that with me. So yeah, I'm just gonna switch these around actually. I've got tissue and little wet ones. Like wipes as well. All right, some other travel size goodies I have in here. I've got actually mini tweezers, which are very cute. Um, and then I've also got the ultraviolet uh, little minis. So we have one day that we, I believe are spending on a boat. So this is gonna be lovely to throw into my bag. Then I've got a little mini Patrick Ta body glow, which I'm definitely gonna want for this when we're getting ready for events and whatnot. I think I'll actually put that in my hair bag. 
I know that's random, but um, I put my like hair things just into a Ziploc bag simply because I don't have a bigger bag. Then I've got my Orbe dry texturizing hairspray, mini travel size. I've got a Tresemme extra hold just in case I want to do any slicked buns or anything. Gotta have the hairspray, so I'll put that in the bag as well. Eye drops, gonna put that in the on the plane bag. I have a little mini travel size of my way leave-in conditioner, but I don't know where the lid is. Dare I risk it for the biscuit? <laughs> yeah, we'll risk it. We'll risk it. I've got the little mini way, and then I have my little mini Gizu hair oil, which I'm gonna throw in there as well. I'm going to pack this Vacation Classic Lotion. SPF 30, Dan really likes this one. Good for the body. I'm gonna pack my Tatcha Silk Sunscreen, cause that one's really juicy and delicious for under makeup. I've got my face halos in here. And I think the rest of my skincare I'll just have to add like once I'm actually done using it. Fun fact, my Caudalie Makeup Removing Cleansing Oil, I do pack the entire thing because unfortunately the minis are not available in Canada. They sell it elsewhere in the world, but it's not available in Canada yet, which is so sad because it's the best. Okay, so this is good for now. We'll add to this later. I'm gonna wanna add my razor and whatnot, but I actually still need to work out, shower, and put on my tan tonight. So I'm not gonna take anything out of the shower, including my razor just yet. And yeah, the rest of the skincare I will pack in there in the morning once I'm done actually getting ready for the flight. So I think that's it for now, honestly. Maybe I'll grab a little sheet mask. Yes, I have these 111, 111 skin packs. Ooh, I also have these little Dior eye patches. I bought those, I don't know what came over me, um, but maybe I'll take those too just in case I'm feeling extra gross after my flight. Just slip and slide the little masks in there. Whoop. So I'm gonna set those aside for now. Okay, let's tackle the makeup. Normally, I actually, oh, I forget where I bought these from. I saw Kate Lavie. I think she changed her Instagram now, actually. It's Kate Spears. She posted, oh, I forget it. Is it Elizabeth and Scarlet or something? Does it say? Oh, it is, ha <laughs> Elizabeth Scarlet. Wow, I could have just looked inside. Anyway, she posted this makeup bag and I remember instantly purchasing it. I instantly swiped up. I don't remember if she had a code or anything, but I bought these immediately and I got them with my initials on it, which is so cute. I've had them for a while now, but I love these and I will usually like pack the Ellie Mae ones with my skincare, I know it seems like so much, <laughs> but it's literally what I do. Usually when I'm traveling, I'm packing like multiple makeup looks and whatnot. And usually I will put my brushes in this small one and then I'll put my makeup in this one. But I think because this is like a makeup and beauty trip, I'm gonna be packing a lot more. So that's where I have this big bad boy that I actually just keep all of my daily makeup in. So I think I'm just gonna pack all the makeup and put it in this. So I'll put all the products in there and then I put my brushes in this little zipper flap, which I will do after we clean them. But what shall we pack? Ooh! I always keep my tools on hand, so I always have a pencil sharpener, but also I always keep scissors with my makeup. It's key, I, no matter what I'm doing, I always find myself needing a pair of scissors. So into the brush section, I'm gonna put a few of these little triangle puffs because they have been excellent. For eyeshadow, I think I'm gonna bring the Hindash Monochromance palette. Yeah, I think that's okay. I'll bring a darker liner just in case I want something a little bit deeper, but I think this is gonna get us through everything we need and just in case, I wanna do any pink, it's all in there. So I'm gonna throw that in. I'm gonna put my lashes and the lash glue. I'll put in the tool side. I'll bring those just in case. I'm gonna bring my, actually my deeper Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Tint. I've got my Key Soul Care Let Me Go Illuminating Primer. Contour powder. We need some concealers. I got a new, the new Benefit Brown Liner, so beautiful. This is extra brown, really nice. I kind of want to bring this NARS foundation because I have not been playing with it enough. It's the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation, so I might bring this. I think I want to bring the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. I think that's going to be my product of choice for a little lighter look. I've got a little mini of my Benefit. Professional, how cute is this? It was a point perk at Sephora. Got that instantly, obviously, that is so cute. Um, I need to wash my beauty blenders and I will put those in. It's always so hard to decide what lips I wanna bring. So just bring them all, right? All right, and then I can't show you some of the other sneaky things that I'm putting in there, so you'll just have to forgive me, but I am very excited. Okay, 
I think that is good. It's good. It's enough slices. Yeah, all right. Pausing packing for a hot sec because Dan ordered sushi for dinner. Sashimi and salmon oshi. That's all you need, baby. So I've officially reached the uh, panic time of the evening, uh, a night before a trip where you realize just how much that you actually still have left to do. Um, so I'm gonna love you and leave you here. I'm gonna end the vlog here, but <laughs> before we do that, lest we forget that today, my friends, is the day three of the Landmiss giveaways. So as you see, there are three remaining piles here, three more chances and three more days to enter to win the Everyday May giveaways, this lovely pile. So please be sure to check the description box down below for today's link. It's only live for 24 hours once this video goes live. So be sure that you're subscribed, turn the notifications on so you're notified when the video goes live. Enter via the link in the description box. I'm gonna end the vlog here, you guys. Good night. Wish us luck in our packing endeavors. Hey, Dan. Not no, not. send prayers. <laughs> and we will see you all in Hawaii. <laughs> Pardon me, how dare I? <coughs> Bye.